And life with changes now. He is at a condo building near Lakeshore and Park Lawn where an elevator fail has residents fuming. Scott, just how many stories are in this building? At 49 floors, Ken, which is quite a hike up or down, especially when it's not the first time residents have had to make that trip. Residents here are more than frustrated, saying they've had repeated issues with the elevator service here ever since the building opened. Need a hand? It was a long walk down for many residents of this Etobicoke high rise this morning. All four of the elevators in this 49 story building were out of service, leaving residents hiking up or down yet again. I walked up yesterday all the way up to 37. <laughs> it was fun. A massive inconvenience to those with mobility issues. Oh, I'm afraid to fall. Or even those just trying to get to work on time. Terrible. According to residents, elevator issues have plagued this newly built condo tower for some time. We've been here for almost eight months and it's still the same stuff every single week. And I guess the exercise is alright, but it's, it's definitely uh, a problem when you have four elevators that aren't, aren't running. Yesterday, this resident got stuck in an elevator with 13 other people and two dogs. Today, with no elevator service, he and his dog had to walk 21 flights of stairs. I think it's gotten to a point where it needs, it needs to happen now and something needs to be fixed and somebody needs to be held accountable. The property management company in charge of the building did not reply to CTV's request for an interview, but has told residents in emails that they have had frequent contact with both the elevator manufacturer and the condo builder. The emails have also given residents a laundry list of reasons why the elevators are failing, including door faults and stretched cables, strong winds, changes in air pressure resulting from our proximity to the lake, and overcrowding, causing elevator cars to shut down. Recently, residents were asked to limit passengers to eight people per elevator. That's half of what the posted sign in the elevator suggests. We're seeing taller and taller buildings with fewer and fewer elevators. Elevator operational issues aren't just limited to new buildings. This elevator consultant calls it a crisis, with companies trying to find financial savings in both construction and repairs. It's false savings. At the end of the day, the tenant is the one that's going to get screwed in the process. Residents were told this morning by the property management company that they would work to get one elevator up and running by the end of the day. The property management company sent out another email this afternoon saying that all four elevators would be up and running by the end of the day. They also said they'll be meeting with the builder and the elevator company early next week to ensure this doesn't happen again. Pointing live in Etobicoke, I'm Scott Lightfoot.